The protests also reached right here in the tri-states. Approximately 50 people marched in Quincy today calling for justice for George Floyd and standing together. WGEM's Charity Bell has the details. Chanting, holding signs and decorated cars, all a part of a cry for justice for George Floyd and others that have lost their lives to police brutality. Marching up Broadway and ending in front of Quincy Police Department. Protester Ray Humphrey says he joined the march in hopes of bringing the community together. We need to use this energy that we're having and fix things in our own backyard. And we need to learn to like just come work together. Some Quincy police officers were on hand for this march. They say they appreciate the peaceful assembly and the protesters' support of local police. Some of the stuff that's being said today, um, you know, I've heard several comments like, "We're not here against the Quincy Police Department. We're protesting, you know, what happened." Um, and, and I understand that everybody has that right to do that. Deputy Chief Shannon Pilkington says protesters were respectful and cordial and no laws were broken. You got Chicago, you know, Cincinnati, Minneapolis, I mean, burning, cops are hurt, squad cars are burning. What you're seeing today, I'm seeing people take pictures with their officers. Um, they like us here. Humphrey says it was important for him to protest peacefully, and he says the march was one step towards change. The next, support of law enforcement. Where is violence going to get us? Nowhere. You know, um, like I said, you know, you can't go against our police department. We need our police department. You know, they keep us safe. Charity Bell, WGEM News, Quincy. Charity, thank you so much. Protest organizers say they're planning to do another protest next Sunday at 4 p.m. at Washington Park.